Hi, Flick Studio Recaps here, welcome to another video, we will be discussing a 2009 movie called Obsession Grab Headphones and Enjoy. The movie opens up with Derek Charles who is employed by a finance company and resides with his spouse Sharon, alongside their two-year-old son Kyle. While at his workplace, he is amicable toward a temporary employee named Lisa Sheridan. Suspecting that Derek is showing interest in her romantically, Lisa attempts to seduce him. Despite Derek's consistent rejections, Lisa persists in pursuing him and makes sexual advances during the office Christmas party. Later, she follows him to his car and exposes herself until he forcefully removes her from the vehicle. Derek plans to report Lisa to the Human Resources Department but discovers that she has resigned from her job. Thinking that Lisa has given up, Derek becomes anxious when he receives flirtatious emails from her. During a work-related conference at a resort, Lisa unexpectedly appears. When he confronts her, she spikes his drink, leaving him incapacitated, and then follows him into his hotel room. The next day, Derek confronts Lisa once more, only to later find her naked in his bed after an attempted suicide. He calls for an ambulance. Sharon, unable to reach him on his phone, eventually locates Derek at the hospital and becomes suspicious that he had an affair with Lisa, as Lisa alleges. Detective Monica Reese questions Derek's faithfulness to Sharon but becomes skeptical of Lisa's claims due to inconsistencies in her story. Despite Sharon's disbelief in Derek, she asks him to leave their house, and he relocates to a separate apartment. Three months later, Derek and Sharon reconcile during a birthday dinner. While they are away, Lisa deceives the babysitter Samantha into allowing her into the house, pretending to be one of Sharon's friends delivering a gift. Upon returning home from dinner, Derek and Sharon discover that Lisa has been in their house and taken Kyle. Derek rushes to his car to pursue Lisa but finds Kyle safely in the back seat. They immediately take Kyle to the hospital for a checkup. Upon returning home again, they find that Lisa has vandalized their bedroom and removed Sharon's face from their family portrait. Sharon leaves a threatening message on Lisa's phone, and they install a home alarm system. Lisa learns of their upcoming trip out of town, with Sharon leaving in the afternoon and Derek the following day. When Sharon realizes she forgot to set the alarm system while picking up Kyle, she returns home. Lisa breaks into the Charles's house and decorates their master bed with rose petals. While setting the alarm, Sharon hears the sound of a champagne cork popping. Going upstairs, she confronts Lisa, who attempts to convince Sharon that she and Derek are having an affair. However, Sharon sees through Lisa's deception and informs her of her intention to call the police. Lisa tries to prevent her and suggests they sit down and talk, but an enraged Sharon pushes her to the floor, leading to a physical altercation. When Derek calls the home phone, Lisa answers, prompting him to notify Detective Reese as he hurries home. Sharon chases Lisa into the attic and directs her to a fragile section of the attic floor, where Lisa falls through. As Sharon tries to help Lisa from falling completely, Lisa grabs onto her, attempting to pull Sharon down with her. Sharon manages to free herself, causing Lisa to grasp onto a chandelier, which ultimately gives way. The chandelier detaches, and Lisa falls onto a glass table below, resulting in her death when the chandelier crashes down from the ceiling and crushes her. Shortly after, Detective Reese arrives as Sharon exits the house and embraces Derek. The detective enters their house to conduct an investigation and set Derek and his wife free. Hi there, tell us what you think about Lisa and her obsession with Derek and Sharon's reactions, and kindly subscribe to the channel for more exciting videos, thank you.